right. So we have uh, people. There's people here now. See, we have like the Umbasa. Yeah. We have Umbasa lady. And now we have, uh, who's this? Oh, who this is, is this a, asshole? this is a faith person. We just say a person for sure. A person? Yeah. No, that's like, sounds a lot like persona. <laughs> Fight the demons in the Fight name the of the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do you <laughs> know? We are both Ooh, that. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Well, We're in miracles. It's... That's right, miracles. So miracles are uh, like faith expensive as shit. Holy God. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're good. Like antidote is super amazing later and heals good. I guess, uh, especially since your your mana recovers over time, mm -hmm. even if slowly, right? I think everyone uses some spells just because they're incredibly useful, even at the minimum amount of like investment. Sure, yeah. I have seen. This, this kind of looks like such a chump. Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. Saint Urbain. I think that's the god that we get spells from. The miracles. Ah. Uh. His honorableness? Holy yeah. shit. Okay, I need to put these cashews away. <laughs> uh, I can't just should... not say anything for a whole damn mm. episode. Nah, it's true. <sighs> we should have, aha, we have a scholar on this side. The mm. so, what a voice. Sage, the visionary from the dungeon of Latria. Latria, I you, yes. I can, I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Frake is a gleam cool. for humankind, but I have not the power Sage Frake is badass. Him. He makes uh, boss spells and stuff too. That's cool. So we can learn spells. We have all the standards: soul arrow, flame, enchant weapon. Cool. Yeah, we have good stuff. Water veil is great. Reduce fire damage. It's cheap. Oh, huh. these are way cheaper. They're some of so these. much cheaper. What's demons prank? Is that like a oh sound in a far off place? Yeah. So you can like draw enemies and enchant weapon is good. I mean, is it just magic damage? Yeah. 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 Because I mean, I feel like that's even useful to put on, even. To, oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have a high magic investment, it's, it's just kind of handy to have like a little bit of extra damage. Mm. Oh no, God, cashews! <laughs> they're destroying me. So, uh, so we didn't talk to the visionary yet. Um, some of you may note that I don't need the next seal binding, and I do have a ton of full moon grass, which is going to make healing a little easier on myself, and we don't have to farm for grass. So yeah, how did how did you we, get that? Full we moon used grass? secrets. Yeah, d yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't don't you worry. Um, so right now we only have a long sword. We have a bastard. Oh, I didn't show the bastard sword. Oh yeah, I want to see that. Because um, we're we're gonna switch this up. We're not just gonna long sword it. Did you put it away? I did. Because oh. the weight thing. Oh, you typically right, will right, right. will uh, put away you have things you're not actively using. Right. Right. Just check that out. Oh, I'm not strong enough. But you, you can two-hand it. Yeah. So, bastard sword or hand and a half. It's like, it's like it's not quite a It's surprisingly fast, though. That is surprisingly fast. It just uses a lot of stamina. It's kind of cool, though. Maybe, it is. maybe roll bad. with that for a minute. Oh, <laughs> take off some gauntlets, maybe. Or well, if I level up, um, let's look at the weapon and see what the stats are on it. Yeah. Oh, right. Because probably want to upgrade the attack. What, what's 18, our eighteen? You need an eighteen strength. And we're probably at like what twelve? Twelve or ten? There's uh, uh, to wait. the right a couple. Yeah. We're at 14? 14, so that's not oh, bad at all. all right. no, okay, no. let's uh, let's level up a little bit. The monumental will explain the. Oh, do we have to monumental first? Yeah. Uh, I think we got monumental first. Right. These characters are a little weird. I don't understand them. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice that before. So when I start running, I take both hands off the sword, and then when I stop, I put it back on. Sorry, you take both hands off the sword? Well, oh, 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 okay. All right, I understand what I, you mean. I am no longer dual or two-handing the sword. I'm one-handing while running. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Like, that's neat. There's a similar animation thing in uh, Persona 3 where if you start going at your full speed, uh, just from a walking speed, like you tilt the analog stick mm -hmm. so like all the way, you're running with your hands in your pockets, but if you suddenly stop but then decide to start running again, your character will take his hands out of his pockets oh. and run with hand, like you know, a proper running motion. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's just kind of like a cool little animation thing. I don't thing. remember that item down there. I also don't remember that item down there. Hmm. I and guess I've you're about to. This recently ish. Oh, a stone of a eyes. Okay, nice. Fiona, what does that do? 
um, it puts you back alive, which we're already alive right now. I see. Uh, so these are the monumentals, although they are all dead. Isn't there just one who's alive? Yeah, we passed him. Who's a good body? What are these things exactly? Uh, DD people? See, he's got his flamelet. <laughs> kind of looking at you. Awaited you, slayer of demons. I mean, I'm DD, one but of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. That, that sounds like a god thing. Yeah, yeah that really does. <laughs> Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. But there's only one. Oh, oh are we, are we cutscene? Yes. Okay, I'm, Under I'm making notes. <laughs> the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until huh. a lust for power hmm. caused the awakening. An the old one. one. The old the one. Yeah, I, God, I don't remember this at all. Mm. And the world exposition. Extinction. This really is exposition. <laughs> it's important. The games are... The games have a reputation for not giving you lore, but really, I mean, this is lore. It's here. It's oh, on yeah. the items. It's on the people you talk to. Like, yeah. There's a lot here. Oh, that's some ziggurat bullshit. Mm. So... In order to hmm. mend the fabric of what land still remains. As time has gone on, those are the archstones. Yes. Uh, as time has gone on, I think I've come to. Uh, uh, never mind, I'm just gonna let this play. Hmm. I'll tell you afterwards. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. Many elephants. <laughs> That's not fun. Wait, why am I like um, mm. That place sucks. The mire? Yes. That place is scary. <laughs> Wonder if that was a DLC that never happened. Possibly. Yeah. That's a good guess. Or they ran out of time or something. <laughs> I mean, right. They were like, what if we just... What if we just break it? <laughs> what if we just didn't have the sixth world? Half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Okay, so as, as time has gone on, I've come to dislike exposition more and more. Mm. Like, in general, I would much rather something just... I mean, not in a book, obviously, but like... Uh, oh, but also kind of in a book, but like I, I, I'd much rather just have like the action shown. I'd rather have the plot inferred. I'd rather have emotions now inferred through time. acting. You like, the old yeah, one I don't, I don't need people to explain and why they feel so sad when I can infer why they feel it's sad not. based on what's happening around them. I feel like this game has a lot of things that you do have to learn this way, at least. I mean, I, learning right. like that you're. Tr I mean, you have to have a goal, and so our goal is to like yes. put the we old one back asleep, basically. And we have to know what our goal is. Now, and, and I'm okay with it. some exposition, every last demon. but so the many things have way Without too much exposition. Mm. Souls, will a new servant seek? Ha <laughs> ha! See, all this is super important. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. It will lure us to its bosom. Yep. So it wants souls, and if it can't get them from demons, it will uh, take lure us. Lure us. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of other stuff up here later in the game. Like, I think this is where the PvP arena is up here. And oh, really? Yeah. There will be NPCs up here as well. Roar. Yeah, the Nexus, like, gets chock full of shit. Like, way more, I think, than other... Yeah. Um, from soft games where you can only get Bam Margera, Rodney Mullen, and other <laughs> famous skaters. Uh, remember how I was talking about manipulating world tendency? Yeah. So the way that works is see how the Bulletarian Palace is now slightly glowing? Yes. It means we've raised the world tendency slightly on the pure side because we destroyed a boss there. So soon after we level up, we will do a, a shocking thing. Well, I was going to do it right now, because that's where I'm standing. Well, but shouldn't we level up first? Oh, I guess that's fine. All right. Because otherwise you'll have to run up here anyways, right? You always have to run up and grab your souls, but it's fine. Yeah, okay. So anyway, if you die in that world, if I die in Bulletarian Palace, anywhere in it, when I'm alive, it will drop the world tendency. <laughs> so what you do is you, you die kill yourself. You die here in the Nexus, where the, there's no world tendency. So even if you die in the Bulletarian Palace, it doesn't drop? Because you're not alive at that point. Soul. It's 
quite esoteric. Yeah, and it's not explained anywhere. People yeah. had to just learn it. I, I remember when, when you let me borrow your PS3 and I played through almost all of this game. I was very confused. I didn't understand it. I read a little bit about it, went, huh, and then proceeded to ignore the mechanic entirely. Mm -hmm. When you get full dark uh, world tenancy, there's like lots of extra bad enemies and like it's very difficult. Like the levels get harder for sure. I'm willing to bet that's what happened to me. Uh, all right. So we want uh, how many do we we're have? going for quality, right? So strength and decks. Yeah, but we can get at least 18 for that sword and then get some decks. Maybe some health. Vitality. Is it endurance for... Oh. Oh, equip a burden is endurance. And vitality is item burden. So really we want endurance more than we want. Yes. Yes, that okay. is correct. But we're going to want vitality as well. Yeah, let's get, let's just get a vitality. Yeah. Mm. I got an endurance. Mm. Right. Oh, I sorry. That's what I meant. I meant to say endurance. Art thou done? Okay. Art thou so done? So we have... How much burden do we have available? Uh, 22 of 41. Oh, so we almost have it. We are close. What if we just swap out the, for the ragged, uh, tattered hands? Oh, yeah. If I swap the armor out, it'll be fine. Oops. So, essentially, we now we can run around with this sick bastard sword. Still not entirely sure what item we're going to roll with. Mm. Who knows? Like, comment, subscribe if, <laughs> if you have an idea. I could put on... See. Put on the ragged. Uh, I'll just take. Gloves. I'll just take all of it for a minute. And, to, uh, to fashion souls for a second. Well, I'll play with the suit and we'll see. We don't have much to fashion souls. I think just putting on the. How is that six point nine? Actually, that only drops by five. Yeah. Look at our fine. pointy shoes. <laughs> Look at our pointy pointy shoes. Uh, oh, we have plenty of burden left. Yeah, I was thinking we keep the pants, but then just swap out the gloves, maybe. Because now we're at the same burden if you put that helmet on. Oh, I see. Um, I think that's still going to push over. Soon you will see. So that drops. That drops by five as well. Oh, wow. Is that enough to put on the... the oh, but wait, it looks so cool. Ch ch check it out without the robe for a second. Uh, just oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, we, can we can rock this. Uh, we do have souls we can uh, use for um, leveling purposes as well. Do we have a lot of souls? Yeah. Oh shit. Sure. Oh, but oh. God, it's one at a time, isn't it? Yeah, but you can do this. What was that? Equip them. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Inventory! Someone recently commented uh, that they actually like it when we do inventory stuff. And I thought about, it, and A, I'm lazy and don't like to make cuts. And B, I don't know, I think inventory is kind of fun to watch. It is. I mean, well, you get to play with the items and you get to like see all the really cool stuff we've picked up. I don't know. Like, I think that's part of the game is like not just like, yeah. oh, here's the one sword I used the whole time. Right, like, <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm going to up endurance one more. Let's let's do a couple. Yeah. It's, it's, we should continue to put stuff into dexterity even if we're not immediately using dexterity because otherwise we're just going to end up with a strength. No, I, I will. I just I wanted to get a couple pieces of armor on. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, I, I was just saying that for the for the people. Okay, so it looks like we didn't quite well, we can, we can get it next time. There we go. All right. We have a little bit more armor now. Right. Well, so instead of having cool arm wraps, we now are just running around like a like a grassy asshole. <laughs> I could probably wear just the tunic and it's like fine. a hat. <laughs> no, that, I know. I'm sure there are worse looks that you could do, but uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that it's... awful long sword. Ugh, what a nasty. We'll find better armor that's... We'll, we'll have more options. Oh, we have the jade our hair ornament that we did not talk you about. Uh, yeah. who, who do we give that to? Well, let's look at the item. Let's actually do the thing that we're supposed to do, which is look at the item. <sighs> okay. A simple jade hair ornament. Could it belong to a poor little girl? Hmm. We haven't been talking, talking to everyone, because he Hello these again. NPCs do have a talk. 
Oh, right, like a separate yeah. command. So, do they have quest lines? I, yeah, they do. My wife and daughter, and Remember he abandoned his wife, his wife and daughter? We did talk about that. Yeah, that was kind of a ignorant jerk ignorant move. The these walls. Are you? Oh, oh, like the city walls, not the Nexus walls, I assume. My first days in the Nexus. Oh, yeah, because the Maiden in Black, uh, she, like, gathers everyone. She gathers everyone. Oh, oh, so is he the one who... Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Wax. I don't know. I, I, I was just thinking, like, what else could it be that would adhere to her face in that particular mm -hmm. form? If only something could be done to help her. You have a heart. If, I know it's this guy. It might only be like later when he's talking about her or something. Oh no, there oh. we go. You did talk to him first and now he Yeah. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little Maybe you shouldn't baby. have been such a coward, my dude. She rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Or you should have brought her. Why didn't you bring her? I don't know. That hairpin. I'd like to Maybe there was one slot on the airship, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my. Thank you. That's blasphemous, my dude. <laughs> Umbasa. Umbao, oh, no. <laughs> Please accept this, thanks. I'm a bit ashamed Great. to say, but I found it one day, discarded on the main road. Oh, what's it? What? He, he's going to give me an item. Power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. And I don't remember what it is now. I also don't remember what it is. I'm waiting with bated breath. Oh, the ring. Oh, that, that's right. That sounds really good. Uh, it is item burden. So, oh. no, it's great because if you pick up an item and you don't have enough weight to pick it up, it just drops to the ground. And if you leave, it's gone forever. Right. So, so I guess, you have this in yeah. reserve as like, a oh, crap, I need to pick that item up. Okay. All right. All so right. It, it's good. Um, wow. We did really well in spending souls. So we have 87 and we have the world is our oyster. So we have all our arch stones. Yeah. Oh, so One you should go slaughter yourself first before anything oh yes yes yes, yes. but but anyways keep going uh so we just get to pick where we want to go uh we could do the second part of Bo boletarian palace or we can pick any zone we want Whoa, what was that i think it'd be fun to okay. do uh i think it'd be fun to do the next zone uh, somewhere any other zone i don't want to do the mines right now i think you i would get bored if mines. we did the mines okay I'm just not feeling the mines at this particular moment. It is a really good place to get weapons and upgrade stuff, though. Oh, and you do fight armor spider. Or, or, or isn't that what it's called? Armor spider? Um, maybe. There, there's a boss. I think it's called armor spider. Well, if we, if we do the shortcuts, we don't necessarily have to go all the way to the armor spider immediately. Wow, that's, that's kind of wild. You got your 87 souls. I guess it's still cool having 87 souls. Well, I guess it's 87 soul power. No, they're souls. They're souls. Like, they're outright souls. Holy shit. Yeah, so when we touch the archstone for Bulletarian, we can now start at our original spot. Or we can go to the Phalanx archstone, which is the archstone that we use to warp out after the right. Phalanx. Which just so happens to be not very far from the first. Correct. <laughs> uh, this is the second world. I'm not feeling the stone fang tunnels. That's, That's what I'm saying, Fiona. No, it's totally fine. I'm just showing them. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the Tower of Latria. There is a lot of magic-y stuff here. It's a really... I think it's probably the oh. coolest world in this game. It's really good. There's a lot of really good stuff if you're a magic user. This archstone is broken. That's the DLC that we'll never see. Yep. Um... We have the Shrine of Storms. Uh, there's some pretty good weapons here if you're a magic user. Okay. Are you telling? It's pretty advanced. Um, are you me... telling me that we have to go to the mines? No, we can do tower. Tower's fine. Should I upgrade this sword or should I try it first? I'd say try it first. All right, we'll try it first. We can always come back and upgrade the weapon later. That's true. And again, we're gonna do some dragon stuff off screen. Dragon stuff? Yeah, I'll just go try to touch the dragons a little bit just go rub up against them right what right <laughs> like like the dragons right there were some sweet items over there oh those dragons yeah i mean people might want to watch us go over there and try to do it 
Like, <laughs> I mean, we should probably, can, even if we just okay. do a couple cuts, right. it might be fun. Do you want to do that right. now instead? No, I think we should go down this lonely okay. road that we've chosen. Let's, Tower of Latria, right? Yes. Let's see how well we do here, because stuff here is pretty, um, we'll see. This is such a cool world. You just start off in a prison, and it's like, yep. oh. oh I'm, there's, like, just some dead dude in like a torture chair and like and, look like, at that torture chair can, oh, yeah, can you get yeah, like yeah. a good camera angle on it like oh the I light the is light. a problem yeah look at that just a bunch of nails like would you really just make someone sit on that they did that's the sad part because holy shit an augite of guidance uh i'm trying to remember oh yeah so when we were talking earlier we got the stones that do co-op play which, so the blue stone and the white stone. Which are essentially useless to us. Because we didn't modify our PlayStation to do the, the fan. Right. Uh oh, these are the these are the stones. Yeah, you drop the pebbles. They're like prism prism stones? Prism stones, that's it. Yeah. You just throw them on the ground, they shine, and you're like, wow. It's really dark here. It's super dark. In fact, do should I up the brightness again? Or do you think it's okay? No. Okay, that's the arch stone. It's okay to have a deep, dark it's okay to have like an absolute zero. It's just important that you have bright spots on the screen somewhere. 70 isn't terrible. So a lot of these doors, when you open it, or actually all of these doors. So if I open this door, it's open forever. Right. Which means every time I walk by, those guys are going to come out and fight me every time. So you typically don't open a lot of these doors. Oh, he can hit me if I stand there. Well, uh, or just kind of touch you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just get a good touch. Oh. oh man, that sound effect is also in Dark Souls. Holy shit! Those guys. Yeah, they 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 have like a command grab, right? Oh yeah, they're jerks. Don't they also have a ranged magic attack? Take key. And so this this first section is super maze like. Uh, I have this place fairly memorized. Right, which um, is great. That guy is a jerk though. Like I hate these guys so much, especially when you don't do a lot of damage. What exactly they shoot oh, you yeah they shoot you and then they'll do this like a run. scary grab the, yeah they they like horror monster run up to you and do a scary grab that you can't block oh wow did and not. then that which renders you like useless for a second oh this weapon is really big for this area oh boy we, we can switch over to the um uh, i don't i put it i put it away <laughs> Shit. well i think you're just gonna have to deal what's it's our two i'm gonna have to do that's not bad all right yeah yeah all right i swear to god i saw someone behind you um i did pick up a key off the wall uh floor three yep which i i don't know what floor we're on i mostly just ignore the text on the keys because i know the path at this point oh uh, I'm just looking in the rooms because a lot of the rooms have items. Mm. Good items, you know. Well, because sometimes you open it, and it's like you got a like a shard of mercury stone, which is a quality stone. Right, because there's stone specifically for quality and multiple w levels of different quality. Like some quality is like even strength decks, some is more decks but still quality, and then some is more strength and still Whoa, quality. There's a lot shit. of upgrade stones. Hello. Oh, by the way, for if you don't know, um, quality just means um, oh, and that actually staggers them. Oh. Nope. Oh. Well. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. But I yeah. guess our viewers got to watch us get impaled and dead. But like not in a fun way. And it, well, no, that was fun. I had a nice time. It's like woohoo, we're <laughs> impaled. Uh, oh, I was saying something. Uh, oh yeah, so quality build just means that you have. Uh, somewhat even strength and dex. Maybe you have a little more strength, maybe you have a little bit more dex, but weapons that scale their damage off of both your strength and your dexterity. Oh, see, they hate that. Yeah, I wish we were doing a little more damage, though. You know, Fiona, we could do a different world. <laughs> Well, we have all this full moon grass. We can play with it a little bit. Yeah, I guess you can just <laughs> eat it, huh? Well, I don't want to, but yeah, if you do enough damage that you can at least two shot them, it's a little safer because yeah. they're jerks. I hate these guys so much. Well, have you thought about like just talking it out? Is he all the way down there? Or is he where the heck? 
because I think this is already the first area where it's like you can face two of them at the same time, correct? What do you mean? Like, like there's two of them further down, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercury stone. Radical. Which means it's, uh, yeah. There's, you need the basic stones for all the weapons, and then once you, wait, how does it, I forget, the weapon upgrading in this is very complicated. Yeah, I, <sighs> um, for sure. Oh, Fiona, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it got caught on the geometry. Um, also, I... Okay. You know, it's funny because you'd think they would make it so it wouldn't get caught on the geometry because that just looks kind of silly. He should... I don't like where he's at and the camera's being aggressive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So is your plan just to stab it? Well, I... Damn it. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I only have a couple... Like, it's too close quarters. Yeah. So, and you can jump... You can fall off there, too. God, there's something so great about animation where it just speeds up. Like, it just speeds them up like that. Whoever did that first with horror, uh, like, just yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, you can get a sweet backstab. There we go. Oh no, I hate this. Wow, there are like tentacles bursting out of its body. There we go, okay. Okay, so do like a one-two combo yeah. instead of the R1. Assuming you're not in a close quarters hallway. Yes. Which For is real. a little bit- There's an item in here, and I'm, or not that one. There's an item in here, and I'm not sure I want to open. Yeah, I get it, why not, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, it used a cell key though. That seems important. Oh, well, but they're not they're not one use or anything. No. A silver coronet. Uh, I that think could that, be important for fashion ups, souls. I think it ups your increases your maximum MP and provides a little bit of protection. Yeah, yeah. Put it on. Put it on. Oh, now we look so cool. Okay, still roll. Oh, that that roll. <laughs> okay, that animation looked really weird for some reason. I think I think like. It's the big, uh, it's the big robe. Ah, this terrible chicken. It also takes robe. a lot of damage really fast because it's, um, because it's silver coronet. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see, like the Yeah, so it'll break. Takes. It'll break if you're not careful. Shard of mercury stone. Just a shit ton of mercury stone. I think you find an EP later, which is a really good quality, you know, like a rapier. Yeah, it's yeah. also like a... Like not quite an album, but like a like if you just want to like get like a teaser or something. Extended in play major is that what it? What did it stand for? Uh, extended play sounds really correct. I, I I don't know Fiona, but that sounds right. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm not a music doctor. Oh. What is a music doctor? A musicologist? I don't know. Music maestro. <laughs> but, wait, do you say maestro? I yeah, say I guess maestro, so. Yeah. You hear the guys yelling in the background. Yeah, they're upset. Wizard. Uh, it's just wizard's clothes. I put on my wizard's clothes and hat, and a catalyst for casting magic because you need a catalyst. Should should we be a wizard? Uh, no, because people said they wanted to see us use weapons and not magic. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't mean should we like actually be a wizard. I just meant should oh. we wear the clothing of a wizard? Oh, um, how protective is it? Fiona, 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 how cool is it is what we're going for. Uh, it's Wow, it's lighter than what I have on. Yeah, let's take a look. Wait, I'm just looking at a couple things. Really? These have the same... Wow, it's a lot better than what we had on already. All right. Uh, I might be able to get a heavier piece of armor, though. This is a jacket. Uh, oh, the warping maybe. is from the, the cloud ring. Right? No, it's from the coronet thing. I, or it's the I, fact that I'm dead. I don't fucking know what's going on. I'm, I'm just, I'm just here to make the yucks oh. while you actually play the game. Oh, whoops, that was probably yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, is it the thief ring? Oh, oh I God. forgot that I could use this one-handed. Oh. It's much slower. Well, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it makes total sense. It's this giant sword, like it's really big. All right. Okay. So that door was like just outside of the part where you warp in, correct? Yeah, yeah. We just backtracked. There's a lot of maze-ish stuff here. I should have made better life choices. 
Unknown hero's soul. All right. And is this the one that poisons us? We'll find out. So it's a sarcophagus. Some of them will just eat you up. Nope. Dong. Right? Because like it'll actually like bring you like bring you inside of it for a second, right? No, it just you get poisoned. Oh. And it sucks because poison will just outright kind of kill you really fast. Yeah. Unless you have items to. Which I think we do. There's items in there, but that one has like 20 dudes in it. So that one's going to wait. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't imagine that there's like a six right. sword in there. They have such a surplus of these chairs. Like, imagine being the person who's like, all right, so I'm going to need you to make like 50 of these chairs. Or better yet, imagine being the artisan who has to be like, all right, well, I guess I'm in the chair tor torture chair making business now. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what I'm going to do with my life. I'm trying to remember. If... Here's another sarcophagus. Hey, wow, nice, Fiona. A hero's soul. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, oh, it's scary. That's a scary noise. The assassin's gear. Gosh, I think it'd be so scary if you checked out the next episode of Demon Souls. Demon's soul. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, God. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. And check out the details of our Patreon. We appreciate your support. All right, bye, everybody. Bye.